Hi, and welcome to Healthcare IT Today, where we talk about the latest technology trends in healthcare and discover a few valuable insights along the way. I'm Colin Hong, and with me today is Scott Andrews from Kairos. Scott, welcome to the program. Thank you, Colin. Happy to be here. Now, Scott, you were recently in the news. You just acquired Epion. Correct. Talk to me about that. Yeah. So Epion uh, is an organization that's been in business for about 10 years. They're in the patient engagement space. So think about from the time that you schedule an appointment and then you get reminders about that appointment. And also you'll probably get a little bit of a link in there that's probably coming through your SMS, your, your phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, you click on that link and it allows you to check in in advance of your arrival at the doctor's office. And so this is where you'll do administrative things like filling out consent forms related to HIPAA and privacy, but you can also do things that are clinically related like your history of present illness or you know, your review of systems in terms of what's bothering you today. On top of that, you can also pay a bill and, and you'll probably even get some notices about uh, uh, additional appointments that are probably relevant for you as you think about the care that you're looking for. So it sounds like Epion's really rounding out a lot of what Kairos had offered before. Yeah, so it, it ties in nicely with the approach that we've been taking around patient access, right? And so clearly today we work with health systems all over the country. Um, these are 30, 40,000 provider organizations uh, all the way down now to a single pr uh, practitioner. And we're out there essentially helping patients, members, individuals find the care that they're looking for. And so they can do that by looking on a health systems website, looking on a health plan website, perhaps they're going to Google. Mm -hmm. And uh, as they're looking for care, the profile of that provider is going to show up. You can schedule the appointment right then and there. And now with the addition of Epion to the team, you can not only schedule the appointment, but you can do all those pre-check-in things that we were just referencing. Right, so it's no longer just about finding and scheduling, it's now about actually getting checked in and you're taking that patient further into that journey. Yeah, and the reason why that's really nice is it's great for the patient because it's more self-service, mm -hmm. right? It's also really good for the provider of the health system because everybody's looking for operational efficiencies. And so the more that you can streamline that process, have the patient do the work that they really want to do anyways, free up your staff to do something that's more valuable to your organization, um, it's a win-win for everybody involved. Talk to us about the triumvirate now that you have, with Kairos, HealthSpark, Epion. Yeah. How is the three organizations coming together and, and what will that be able to offer for yeah. your clients? So with Epion, we kind of have our third leg to the stool, right? And it really helps to round out our overall strategy of fine care everywhere. So as I was referencing, you're, we're, today we take the provider's profile, mm -hmm. all of that, you know, we've got 115 different data elements on average for a provider. We're putting that information everywhere where an individual is looking for care. That might be on your health system's website again, that could be uh, on Google, that might be on uh, some other uh, content uh, systems like a, a WebMD or a HealthGrades, right. but it can also be on the health plan website, uh -huh. right? And so by doing this, um, you can find care everywhere. And if I think particularly about the health plan, health plans are really interested in the density of providers in a particular market. They love having those academic medical institutions uh, for that really specialized care, but they also want community providers so that they can make sure that they're routing their patients to the appropriate individual for the care that that individual needs. And so the addition of Epion really helps to build on that. I really like that. I mean, you know, I like that thought about being able to go anywhere to find the most appropriate uh, pra practitioner or specialist or, and then get information about them and then right away be able to see their availability and go ahead and book that appointment. Yeah, and you know, the thing that we're really helping to drive home now is not only just the access and the ability to schedule that appointment, but again, if you factor in what we're doing on the health plan side, the transparency around what it's going to cost. And today that's predominantly focused in the health plan space. But we're going to bring that with the addition of Epion uh, onto the health system side at some point, right? Because you're already filling out a registration screen and you're right. doing all sorts of information. We know exactly the appointment that you've got. So let's give you a little bit more insight into what it's going to cost and then actually collect some money from you at the same time. Changing topics on you a little bit, Scott. For those that know me, I, I love surveys. I love statistics. You've recently come out with a new survey and some statistics. Can you give us a couple of highlights? Yeah, so we do a patient access journey report every year. Um, and the one that's going to be coming out here uh, soon is going to highlight again how individuals want to self-schedule. 
But it's not really just about self-scheduling. 93% of the time, they're highlighting in this survey that they would strongly prefer to not only schedule the appointment in a self-service way, but also to fill out those administrative forms, check in virtually, pay their bill virtually, do all of that in advance, like we do for everything else, right? right? Like when's the last <laughs> time you, act, you actually walked into a bank to do anything with your financial institution, right? You did it all through your phone, and now we're slowly but surely, we're allowing healthcare consumers to do the exact same thing. Anything in that survey that surprised you? I think the only thing that's surprising me is that, um, and I wouldn't even say surprising, I'm actually excited about the fact that the self-service component and the scheduling is not only um, growing from a consumer and a patient demand perspective, but I think also the health systems and the providers are realizing that this is the wave and there's really no slowing it down. It's just a question of when you're gonna get on it. Interesting, I love that because it wasn't that long ago when docs were like, I'm not putting my schedule out there, are you crazy? Everyone's going to you know, want to book uh, all the available time I have. And it turns out that that doesn't really happen. Yeah. People actually are booked appropriately to what they need. They are, history's on our side here, it's inevitable, and they are coming around to it. Because again, they see that I'm, I'm getting the right patients, you know, I'm not having patients show up that I shouldn't be serving. And they're also noticing the operational efficiencies that come with that. And so, uh, again, I think one of the things that the pandemic, if there's a silver lining has done, is it's opened up people's minds a little bit more about not only serving the patient in a virtual manner, but allowing them to continue to book and schedule and do other administrative tasks in that virtual manner. Scott, where can people go to find out more information about Kairos? You can definitely go to our website, www.kairos.com, and there are all sorts of great information there for you. Scott, thank you for sharing all this information with us today. All right, Colin, my pleasure. Thank you so much. This has been Colin Hung with Healthcare IT Today. Thanks for watching.